One tactic for dealing with the narcissist is to just agree with everything they say. This is a gray rock method, but you don't actually follow through with it. If a narcissist is threatening you with something that they want done in the future, then you can just agree with it to get out of the conversation and then do whatever you want. For example, maybe they're like, we're not spending Christmas with your family this year, and they know that's going to make you really upset. You say, okay, and then you proceed to spend Christmas with your family. Or whatever it may be, you know, if they're like, I think I'm going to move across the country. Okay, that sounds good. Live your life. If they are talking about the future, it's for some kind of manipulation purpose. And a lot of the times that's to get a rise out of you, get a reaction. So you are not reacting to whatever thing they're trying to get you worked up about. It can also work if they're insulting you in some way. If they say to you, you're a terrible mother. Oh, okay, yeah. Something important I really wanna emphasize here is don't ever use this tactic in writing, in text messages, or in email, because if you ever have a divorce or a child custody hearing or some kind of other legal hearing, you don't want it written down that you were agreeing you're a bad mother. This is just verbal. I'm in no way saying don't be hurt by these comments because it will hurt. This is a person you care about intentionally doing this to you. But the goal is to make it appear to the abuser like you're not impacted. Doesn't mean you don't still feel something on the inside, but you are not outwardly expressing it. This is a mode that people are able to put themselves in. For example, you can't react to every offensive thing that happens at work. You have to keep it inside. But if you can achieve this on a regular basis, you will free yourself and you won't feel so hopeless when you do have to interact with them. You will feel more in control of the situation.